Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris and the Kerbal Space Program and its potential conquest of the galaxy. As we left it, we had some expansion potential down here, some expansion potential over here. We could uh, stem the tide of the Gagasi Star Nation here. Or we could expand up here with a lot of possible worlds to go for. So, and those are our possibilities, but we also have quite a few neighbors who are going to be trying to grab those systems. We only have this one fleet under Elhat Kerman, so that is something I need to expand upon. It looks like our energy credits are flowing quite nicely. Uh, we're building up quite a lot of reserves. We could probably send out some more colony ships if we wanted to. Uh, there's a potentially habitable um, ocean world right there at Sakis 2C. Just trying to decide what to do, what our course of action should be. We could colonize this one. That would definitely extend down here. I think we should deny pets to... Oh, the Felnal United systems have already cleaned the pets. Shoot. Well, uh, yeah, we should definitely expand down here. We've got a uh, science ship there, do we? Yeah. Can that science ship get over here? Survey system? Oh, has to go a long way. Okay, well, start here. Uh, so let's build a new colony ship and send it to uh, Lyrum in order to claim that system. And then we could also set up a, uh, a frontier outpost here at Sturil to make sure that these newcomers don't expand. Spaceport. Complete. I would like a... Uh, Let's have them build a colony ship. Then a uh, construction ship, which one is closest to our northern areas? And we've got uh, five influence per month, so that's nice. Uh, where are we getting that from, just so uh, in case something goes wrong? Oh, uh, well, rivalries and our technologies, so that's good. At least it's not from like our leaders who can perish. Okay, we can clear this toxic kelp out. We can upgrade that. Oh, we can't. Oh, now we can. Yeah. Okay, planetary administration for new moho. But we're running out of minerals again. Jeb. Jeb is doing fine. Rockamax. We need to clear this stuff up, but they're just starting out, so it's alright. Now, once the colony ship is built, I'm gonna have to add something else to a sector. One other world would have to be added to a sector. Maybe, maybe Nikanda? Does Nikanda have any Batharian thingamajigs? Legoland. I mean, it's pretty well built up already. Yeah, it does have Batharian. That's, that's a Batharian power plant and that's one too. So we'll have to make sure they're supplied. We've encountered some form of alien life. Omicron aliens now. We should proceed with caution. Oh boy. Okay, that one's building that frontier outpost so we can get those energy credits. Okay, we have completed the construction of a mining station. Okay, that's the Lyseria one. Let's backtrack and get some from Rukbat over here. I don't know if we should extend ourselves over here with frontier stations. I don't think so. Oh, that's what, that was the question mark right there. Those were the Omicron aliens. Okay. Um, system survey complete. Mining station there we find. Okay, system fully surveyed. Gothia. Gothia. Looks like Aklo Akolum needs to be surveyed. Especially if we're going to colonize Lyrum, we should definitely survey Taramba as well. Dunia 9 is mo uh, moving towards Titanic life monitoring, but last time we had a ship stuck trying to do that. And I think it's stuck too. Yeah, uh, for some reason Titanic life monitoring is not something we can do. It, the, the ships just get stuck, it's bugged somehow. So that one I'm going to survey Taramba with. Now saving. Weeping Ghost... Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Weeping Ghost Nebula? We've got to take a look at the Weeping Ghost Nebula. How far away are we from that? Pretty far away.
We have detected the presence of an alien civilization on Devradir. They appear to be in the early space age as evidenced by many primitive satellites orbiting their homeworld. Their nation states are on the path towards joining together in a global government and it's likely only a matter of time before they venture beyond their world and join a galactic community. Okay, observation post. Can we build an... Oh, Illyrium. Oh, shoot. I was going to colonize that place. Well, we can't colonize that world. So we've got a colony ship that's costing us funds, but uh, the question is what should we colonize? I'm at my limit, so whatever we colonize means that something has to be enveloped by a sector, and this is our sector here, Dunia. System survey complete. I think I'm gonna colonize Holly 5A so that it can become part of the sector event uh, soon. Sooner rather than later. Colonize planet. Looks like a nice sort of place. Okay, Holly has built a colony on Bland? Bland? Blaine? Whatever. Uh, we're definitely renaming that. What should we uh, rename this colony to? Oh, I, I got it. Kraken's End. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I think rather than trying to insert ourselves between all of these guys, this one, this one, this one. I think just opposing this lot, Felnol, is probably a good idea. So I'm gonna have you go survey that one. Okay, it looks like we've got a frontier outpost up here. I'm building maybe too many frontier outposts, but we could potentially build a colony over here in Sakis. That would be good. Okay, where are we evading the hostile fleet? Uh, cop, what? Where is that? Okay, this one. Well, okay. Let's send our second fleet over to Lyrum. Tried getting the venerable trait, yeah. Uh, where your leaders get 100 extra years, yes. In that game, it's been over 100 years and you haven't had a single leader die. I've had lots of deaths. My problem is that the deaths sort of occur all at the same time. Because uh, at my first batch of leaders all perish at the same time sort of thing. So we've had that problem. Now this guy Dorod Kerman is our oldest. He's 79. But basically we've had uh, newbies come in. Our uh, our main leaders, have runners died. Um, I don't know if Kurt's still alive. Danny Kerman is still alive. Uh, let's take a look at the Empire screen leaders. Valentina's a newbie, actually. Uh, 62, Danny is still there. Manly Kerman, 69, and Kurt Kerman was our first. He's at 75. Research complete. Then uh, Ergi Kerman's a youngin, and uh, Jenkin Kerman, 75, so he's getting older. Uh, Damal Kerman, 66. Dorod, 79. There, we lost our admiral due to age, so that was annoying. Okay, uh, Lyrum. Well, we want another frontier outpost here. Construction complete. And I'll hopefully stem the flow of the Philnol Empire. Okay, so research, farm federation, empire leader size is not bad either. Engos refinery. Engos vapor. What's that for? Oh, a stimulant that helps all forms of life adapt and evolve. Sounds important. It's either that or a biolab, I think. Orbital hydroponic farms aren't bad either. Ooh. But I think revealing resources should be the priority, right? We need to know where these resources are so that we can lay claim to them quickly. You may proceed to survey that system, and it looks like there's an ocean world there. And a continental world. So, um, hmm, that's interesting. That seems like a... Actually, you know what? Oh, Lyrum, we, we do want to prevent those guys from coming across this way. But we could actually just go straight for this one without building a frontier outpost here, maybe. 
Okay, colony established at Kraken's End, which means we're over the limit, but that just means our monthly influence is down 10% and energy credits is minus 10%. I can live with that while we're developing the colony. So let's develop the colony. I wonder what happens when you go two over, which I will soon do. We need to explore this whole area, but there was a big gulf between these worlds and those. An ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage, and s entire sections of the facility are missing. Well, uh, research. Complete. I don't know how quickly our influence might extend to Antak Ram and Ramsar there. I hope soon. That one would be a good one too. I sort of want this to expand out. Any idea how quickly these uh, the borders expand when there's no other civilization nearby? Okay, new research. We might want to go down the laser route. Colony development speed plus 25 percent. That seems important. Antimatter reactors are also good. I've always been fond of antimatter reactors. My X-Wing has one. But uh, this is relatively quick compared to that. That'll take a long time. And we are in the middle of colony building, so. Unless you get more border growth tech, which gives it a static improvement, outposts don't really expand their borders. Darn it. While conducting the survey of Azale 2A, Ike 7 detected the remains of an automated shipyard in orbit. It is at least, okay, yeah, yeah, we got that part. But one of its manufacturing bays is still in working condition. Uh, Lana Kerman is confident that power can be restored to the shipyard, and it, but it would be a significant project. Yeah, Situation let's repair it. Updated. Let's repair the, the shipyard. But it's an automated shipyard. That could be dangerous. Okay, go to. Okay, after you get done with that, research that. Also, oh, let's uh, get a governor here. I want a governor that doesn't do slavery. Food. Food is good. Oh, we have the maximum number of leaders. Oh, I should have gotten that leader one. Is there any leader hanging out that's not doing something? We've got a lot of scientists. Valiant scientists. Mm. Construction complete. Speaking of fleets, maybe you should bolster it. It seems kind of weak at this phase considering my fleet cap. Yeah, it is. But uh, I haven't really prioritized the construction of a fleet. Um, well, I can only get destroyers. I haven't gotten cruisers yet even. Complete. Yeah, I haven't even gotten cruisers. But I'll build more destroyers. Special project complete. Okay. Uh, Science Officer Lana Kerman has successfully restored power to the automated shipyard. The facility immediately resumed its interrupted construction order using what materials it had on hand to build three advanced raiders of an unknown design. Unfortunately, the Asian facility broke down completely afterwards and has been deemed beyond repair. We have sent crews to the new ships and commissioned them into our fleet. Okay, and Lana Kerman gets 200 experience. Okay, well we've got some new ships, but they don't seem very powerful. Well, uh, let's have them join our fleet at Kosk. Speaking of our fleet at Kosk, uh, we'll wait until those raiders get in and then we'll uh, combine to attack. Uh, ooh, wow, wait, wait, no, no, abort, 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 okay. Yeah, you go over here. It looks like that force is way too powerful. Even if you don't have plans on military action fleet. Yeah, I know, I know, uh, I know. Transmission. We should be. Alliance invitation. Uh, no, I I don't like to fill in all peoples. Now I wanted to investigate this anomaly. Massive storms are in are visible in the upper atmosphere of the gas giants. Sure, research it. Yeah, we should bring ours back to our spaceport. But okay, new stuff. Habitability plus five percent is good. Um. Empire leader capacity we could probably use. You know, uh, empire leader capacity, uh, probably I need now. We've got a lot of colonies and everything. 
Dithaforu uh, 1 frequently experiences massive and extremely violent storm systems in its atmosphere. Several dozen persistent storms are visible from orbit with winds often reaching in excess of 700 meters per second. <laughs> The causes of these storms, I don't, is that, po I mean, that's supersonic, uh, that's, well, it depends on the pressure, I suppose. Um, the cause of these storms is not immediately apparent, as we found nothing on the planet's climate model that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying this anomaly. Okay, yes, we should study that anomaly. Uh, do we have anything close by to take care of that? Dithathoru. I need a construction ship. Is that the closest one? That one is. Oh, I don't want to do a frontier outpost. Hmm. We'll wait until we develop this. Yeah, we should research that, but we can't right now. Okie dokie. Engineering research. Impo oh, here we go. Cruiser. Let's well, let's try and get some cruisers. Um, shields would be nice. Subspace sensors. Warp Drive 3. Yeah, I mean, there's so many things. Warp Drive 3 costs a lot, so let me prioritize the, the lesser stuff. Shields. Well, actually, shields and Warp Drive 3 are not too far off from each other. Plant fortification toughness increases with this. I'm not convinced of the necessity of plasma throwers. Okay, I'm going to go with shields. Okay, society technologies. Pythrin refinery. Energy dense fine dust that serves dual purpose as excellent fertilizer and potent ingredient in thruster fuel. Actually, we're not getting too many interesting societal research sort of stuff. These two are hang hanging out. Frontier clinic would be good. Increases habitability and everything. I think I'll get the Frontier Clinic this time. Oh, yeah, you're right. They are. They would be interested in the thruster fuel. Alright, that makes sense. Good point. Okay, our fleets... Uh, let, let, let me get the first fleet down, and then we can attack those bad guys in Kosk, hopefully. We really need to reach out to these people, the Serene, whatever they are. Uh, contacts. Yeah, uh, communicate. How far off are we from getting them into protectorate status? Oh, minus 142. Stupid worry attitude. Um. Wow, you really don't want to do anything. I mean, research agreement even? Ingos Vapor. Pets. Why don't we give you pets? We're happy enough as it is. And um, I want... Hmm. Really? I mean, that's... But what research could they possibly have? They were way behind us. Xenophobic isolationists. Right. Good point. I don't know, I really want to hand off one of, uh, what is the penalty now? Minus 20%. Yeah, we should really hand off something to a sector now. Construction complete. I'm gonna create a new, uh, let's see, Nikonda. Legoland. We could upgrade to planetary capital here. Let's do that, and then we'll make a new thing on Nikonda and Absaja Jin. Rockamax, the world Rockamax. Well, I've been uh, fairly lucky. I haven't actually needed access through territory so far. Um, uh, well, I mean, I, I would like it actually because I could fulfill some of this stuff. Um, where is this? So from that serene kingdom would be good. Okay, efforts to map the surface of this moon have identified a strange mountain formation. Does not appear to have formed naturally. Research that. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we know. But in order to get over there to research that, we'd either have to go around an interesting way or we'd have to get permission from the Obevni Republic as well. So it goes like that. This one is in the Gagasi Star Nation. We could probably just negotiate with them for that one. And this one... Veldross Hegemony. For that one, we need, we either need to go around this way or that way. Or all the way around. Okay, Gigantic Skeleton. What was previously thought to be an assorted mountain. Okay, single colossal life form. We've seen that before. Uh, same age too, 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists ruled out that it could have supported life. Alright, investigate. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Can we investigate that? Uh... Yeah, we should be able to investigate that. Go to. After you finish that, investigate that. Well, wait. There we go. We got a heck of a lot of Krakens hanging out in one of these worlds. Uh, where was it? This one. Look at all these. They're, they're really crystalline entities, though. But still. In principle. In principle. New ships. Okay, merge all that. Let's go attack them. Okay, let's hope they don't all gang up on us, these crystalline entities. Previously they did not, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to change their behavior. We've got, if they all gang up on us, we're probably not in a good situation here. I don't want to call this new ships, uh... Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, okay. the Kerbal fleet is good enough. Okay. Updated. Okay, we have neutralized that threat. Threat Research complete. No, no, no. I still want to be in system. I just want to zoom out a bit. And where's the next crystalline entity? There. Okay, technology researched. And so, oh, we can get rid of dangerous wildlife. We have a lot of dangerous wildlife, actually. But farming subsidies, ooh, well, that's an edict, though. Construction complete. We could build a hydroponics farms, though, uh, number two, level two. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be quick. Okay, project complete. more crystalline entities neutralized. Okay, the skeletal remains. Preacher passed through this gateway from another dimension. Why did this? Where it came from our science, uh, our questions that may never be answered. I've seen that one before, so it's alright. We will proceed. Perhaps that particular scientist is too young to remember the last time we saw that. Okay, more crystalline entities. Situation log updated. Okay. I know it keeps wanting to jump me out instead of I didn't really want to do that, but it can't read my mind. Final crystalline entity thingmajig. Don't know if we can call it a fleet or not. Grouping, team, evading hostile flock. Fleet. A murder of crystalline entities, something like that. Ah, one of our leaders died. All right. Um, field manipulation is good. Yeah, we've already got a material scientist. We actually already had Asisa Kerman. Maybe this Asisa Kerman is named after that Asisa Kerman. Okay, let's recruit this one though. Because that matches the research we already have going here. That's good. Darog Kerman died at 85. Mm 
a pod? A pod of crystalline entities? Possible. Situation updated. Yeah, I thought I told those guys to research other things. They didn't go ahead and do it? Construction complete. Well, in this case, I guess I can have this one go over here. Maybe they encounter bad people? So yeah, it looked like uh, uh, Plov has some baddies. Okay, well, let us uh, send our fleet, as expensive as it is, to uh, get rid of the baddies in Plov. Vag Oros civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Zosma 3. They have entered the early Steam Age. And there is clear evidence that they are beginning to make use of both vehicles and early factories powered by steam engines. There's a uh, Gaia world there. Prophet's Retreat. You said something about... Uh, it might be bad to uh, colonize something Research that people complete. think is really sacred or something. Is that right? But it's a 25 tile world. And we can clear these up pretty easily. I don't know how you clear up an active volcano, but we can do it. Uplift. Genetically uplifting and socially integrating species which are close to being sentient. Eh, we, we are struggling enough on our own. We don't need to help others right now. The orbital hydroponic farms might be good. But Biolab 2 as well. Let's get the orbital hydroponic farms quickly. Neutron star. Well, we've got a black hole, we might as well add a neutron star into the mix. Impressive structures litter Kosk 5As, begging for archaeological research. Alright. You may do so. Crystalline entity in Plov. Right. We actually wanted you to deal with those. We will wipe the galaxy clean of the crystalline entities. They are impeding our science. Alright, let's take a look at Kraken's End to see if we can... We really need a governor for it. Did we finish researching that? Uh, yeah, we did. Let's see if we can get a leader for it. Uh, mono, uh, edic Monolithic. Cost 5A is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable. Not unvisited. Tall cenotaphs, monoliths flowing lines... Definitely chart a uh, history so fantastical it must be fictional. I've seen that before, but we got engineering research. Very good. Evading oh. hostile fleet. Always evading hostile fleet. Hostile oh, this governor engaged. increases science output, but I still like more food. So, Governor uh, Mommy Kerman, it is. Food is important. Okay. Okay, so that Kerbal fleet. Implov has done its thing. Okay. Elhak Kerman's doing great. And in fact, probably should get more experience. But let's clear up the situation in Rimdur now. Uh, well, there's crystalline entity groups here. Yeah, we'll conquer the whole galaxy in the name of... Well, uh, for now, just the currently unconquered portions of the galaxy. You can see what we're doing here, we're exploring this area. Nobody's claimed this area over here, much to their loss. Okay, so let's see about that research. Um, society. Well, hydroponics farm 3 would be good. Sector limit plus 1. Well, hello there. But, uh, yeah, maybe that's not really necessary right now. Terraforming stations seems like the main thing. Terraforming gases and liquids, I think, are what I want. I'm sure some people are shocked I didn't already have it. Okay. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that call themselves the Hegemony of Kifalas. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communication of another empire we're in contact with. Okay. Oh, wow. Where are their eyes? Oh, wow. Okay. I bring greetings from the Grand Marshal... Thunog, Thunog, the undisputed ruler of the hegemony of Kifalis. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs, and perhaps our mighty fleets will refrain from visiting your worlds. We're delighted to meet you. Please. It took you forever in your earlier game to do terraforming, had bad luck with the resources acquired. 
We had plenty of one, none of the other. Well, hopefully our vast expanse will lead us to have the resources we need, but no guarantees. Actually, we haven't seen the... We had unveiled... Well, there's some ingots vapor there. There's some ingots vapor there. So, I mean, yeah, sometimes we find the stuff. Okay, we can now build cruisers. And... Durasteel armor or fusion missiles. Oh, basic fighter or bomber wings. Oh, where do the hangars go exactly? Is uh, do we eventually unlock a carrier ship? Kinetic battery. Well, if anybody can research kinetic battery real quick, it'd be Dan Mal Kerman. He's got the material study thing. But then again, uh, he could also do Dura Steel armor. Well, I think the Kerbals are more defensive than offensive. Each slot, uh, you think it's battleships, but maybe cruiser can mount them also? Also defense stations. We haven't actually unlocked defense platforms yet. Maybe we should do defense platforms. But I think uh, he'll, he'll benefit most by... He'll benefit us most by doing Durasteel armor. The fusion missiles? I don't know. We need we need a rocketry guy to do that. Do we have a rocketry guy? We do have a rocketry. Uh, Jenkin Kerman is almost dead. Uh, maybe we should have him have a last fling. Uh, uh, discovering fusion missiles. Because he'd be good at that. Uh, so we'll switch him out temporarily. He's 82 years old. And where is the science ship that needs one? Here we go. Not that Dan Mal is much younger, he's 73, but... 